The people that seems like they don't know about God, they are the main ones that know about God. For instance, there is this woman that I contact every so often. And when she writes me, I get really, really shocked about how much she knows about the Bible. Like, wow. A person may come off as they don't know about God, but in truth, they may know much more about God than you. And this continued to happen to me for about a week now, believing that some people don't know about God and then they either talk to me or write me and I am shocked, like, <laughs> what is going on here? Like, I never knew that you knew that. Even when it comes down to atheists, I truly believe that many of them that say that there is no God and all this stuff here, they are the main ones that, that know much about God. They are just playing around saying that there is no God. But in truth, they know for a fact that there is a God. They are just in rebellion. So this is why I tell people, don't argue with anyone about the Bible. If they disagree with you and you are disagreeing with them, shut off the conversation or speak about something else. You never debate about the Bible with no one. You teach, if they are not willing to receive, then you go your way. So when you pray for people praying to God that, hey, God, I want you to save this person. I want you to teach this person about the Bible, so on and so on. Even if it seems like they are not getting right, continue to pray anyway, because you have no idea on what God is doing for those people. So don't go by sight, go by your faith. When you pray, you go by faith, not by your sight or any of your earthly senses. If you go by your earthly senses, you are going to be deceived. So I pray that this makes sense. People know much more about the Bible than what you believe. A person who seems like they don't know anything about God are the main ones that know about God. So keep this in mind. God bless you.